Hey you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilting Crafts with S.E.K. I hope everyone is doing well. Alright you guys, I wanted to bring a show and tell to you. And what you're looking at is some beautiful Ankara Wax Fabric Runners. So these are table runners. This was a special order for a family member. And I had a blast making these. And they are authentic Ankara Wax Fabric. If um, you haven't tapped into the African fabric world, it's a must. Um, for most of you guys that know me from homesteading with SEK, DIYs, and much more, you guys are familiar um, with that channel. You guys already know that I have an African boutique. So um, this was um, unexpected. So this is another reason why I can't not schedule like tasks or different um uh, craft DIYs and things of that nature when I'll be tapping into my quilt world it's hard for me to like say well I'm gonna do this project on this time and finish at this time because I'm most of the time dealing with orders from um, friends and family members people that I meet out in the field when I do pop-up shops things of that nature and, and I always get requests for something so this was um, a request and I love the way these turned out. This is such a beautiful, both of these are such beautiful um, fabrics. And the good thing about um, working with Ankara fabrics is most of the time there's no right or wrong side. Um, and if it is, it's very, very hard to tell which one would be the wrong side. Um, so these are easily reversible one side get dirty, you can always turn it over and put it on the next side. Um, depending on uh, the crafter's label, it really doesn't matter because there's always ways to disguise that as well. So what you're seeing in the front is the same pattern that is on the back. Okay? So this is what this one is looking like on the back. And the same thing with the one on the top. So what you see in the front is what you get in the back. Uh, what else can I say about um, Ankara fabrics? I think I shared in another video on how vibrant the fabrics are. And they usually stay very vibrant over time. They they wash good. The, you, don't, you don't lose color as much as in regular fabrics. Um, another thing, I did not um, pre-wash. I know in the quilt world, we have a lot of people that like to pre-wash. A lot of people that like to press and starch and things of that nature but I did not pre-wash these fabrics so um this order is almost complete they requested um some napkins and I have those cut and hopefully by in another day or so I have those done so it was actually um these two and Kyra um fabrics and then another one that I have to do but that one is not complete yet which is I don't I don't want to say quilting fabric but if you're in a quilt world you understand um, and the fabric that I had used was another fabric that I had uh, used before on the other table runners that I previously did and they think they were reversible so I had a request for that one as well and I'm about to finish that one in probably another day or so but um definitely want to share this with you guys to inspire you guys to tap into the African fabric world because you, if you didn't tap into it yet you're missing out on some uh, beautiful beautiful um, fabrics so these fabrics are all also um, known in the mud cloth world so these are actually mud cloth types of pattern and if you haven't tapped into the mud cloth world you're missing out on that too mud cloth is a very it's kind of canvassy, and um, they usually um, dye the fabrics out in the sun and things of that nature. Um, it's a very nice technique to, to learn, and you can actually Google that as well. And mud cloth comes in all different types of colors, greens, blues, reds, off-white, lots of um, neutral colors like what you're looking at now, earthy tones, lots of earthy tones. And the patterns are just beautiful. All the patterns are beautiful. I have done um, several 
um, items for my boutique and I believe I brought a video to you guys of the crop tops that I did with the blue mud cloth so if you look at those those um, patterns in the mud cloth you will see them in the fabric so this is considered mud cloth fabric not as much as the mud cloth um, mud cloth pattern not as as much as the mud cloth fabric okay if that makes sense to you guys so what you're looking at is mud cloth um, pattern and that not the actual fabric of mud cloth okay it's, it's really kind of hard to explain but like I said before if you're into African fab um, fabrics and fashion you will know exactly what I'm trying to explain to you guys all right family so I hope you guys enjoyed this show and tell let me know comment below have you ever tapped into African fabric have you ever sold with it what type of items have you made with it um, are you interested in it because I know there's another quilter uh tees quilting and pretty much every most of the quilts that she made is with african fabric so i also love her channel and then there's another there's another elder that's quilting and she she deals with a lot of african um fabrics as well it's several people that are um on youtube it's not a lot but they're out there that are um definitely all about the ankara wax fabric so you can google that You'll learn a lot. Um, you'll learn about symbols, you know, the African symbols, the Ashanti people, Dinka symbols. You'll learn all of that stuff. So um, it's definitely a wonderful, um, beautiful, uh, uh, vibrant line of fabrics to tap into. So I don't want to start rambling. This is S.E.K., the Crazy Quilts and Crafter. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful show and tell. I really wanted to bring this to you guys. So... If you guys enjoyed this show and tell, make sure you guys thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and please do share. I, I stress that all the time. Sharing is caring. It doesn't take nothing but one tap on a button. Just one tap. That's it. And share. All right, family? Until then, you guys continue to be safe out there and well. And S.E.K., the Crazy Quilts and Crafter, we'll see you guys on the next video. And again, thank you for tuning into my channel. And I will see you guys really, really, really soon. Until then, peace.